Hello everyone, this is the IFC Architect, and today we're going to do something a bit different. Um, I'm going to go through um, some alternative resources for everybody, um, other channels, other YouTube channels, and places that you can find information. Um, I didn't really have like a celebrate 1000 subscribers video um, because it's been so busy, but um, I think this will be helpful. So I've just opened up the uh, channel and um, I'm just going to scroll down. If you go here, there's the install Blenderbim video, then there's all the videos, then there's Blenderbim 101 for beginners, and then you'll see here it says IFC architecture related channels. So just going into that, you can see I've got quite a few other channels that I've added here and basically a lot of these are also linked at the bottom of every single video um, if you want additional information. So I'm just going to go through them one by one and see if maybe some of these will be helpful to you. They definitely will be um, because I'm just a starting point, like a, a getting off point. The IFC Architect is just for basics, but a lot of these other people go into more detail and um, in different ways and different things that you might find useful. So the first one is the OSARC um, community channel. So this is the community that I keep talking about. Um, they have their own YouTube channel. Um, they used to do frequent meetups, but I think it's just been a bit uh, cumbersome, but the information here is still great. And then of course they've got links to different playlists. Um, if you really want to have a deep dive and like see the possibilities of open source architecture and open source systems in the architecture, engineering, construction, operations industry, this is the place to go. There's so many people so much information and uh, yeah, you can see there's a few other things like here is a link to Sigma Dimensions who I'll talk about in a, in a minute. And then here's a link to the IFC Architect playlist. So um, yeah, you can check these out and you can see like here, the Lindemann 2D documentation from a year ago. That, that kind of was the, the jumping off point for, for, get, for starting the IFC Architect channel um, because I was like, oh, it's ready. <laughs> okay, so the next one we can go to is Dion Malt. Um, so you can see Dion, this is the main, um, developer for Blender BIM and a bunch of other things. And if you want the information first, Dion is the primary source. So <laughs> it's, um, he's got lots of different demos here and different explanations from ages ago. You can see how long Blender BIM has been in development. Um, and he's got some amazing videos for, um, just explaining, uh, IFC, explaining open source architecture. Um, I would recommend trying them out, especially this uh, this introductory video that he's got here. Um, okay, cool. So yeah, he's the main developer of Blender BIM. Then the next one is BIM Voice. So I get a lot of questions about um, <laughs> about more information about BIM and Blender BIM. And BIM Voice is like your kind of, this is your next level. And it's also your news source information channel. Um, he does a lot a lot of interviews with professionals who talk about very relevant things. Um, and he also does uh, walkthroughs. So you see here, he's got one with uh, Blender um, on Blender BIM with Dion. So he's, he's interviewed Dion multiple times and he's interviewed a bunch of other professionals who have incredible insights. I'd recommend checking out all of his videos. Um, while you're learning how to use Blender BIM or something, just have these in the background and just listen because any, if you have a problem, I bet you one of these professionals has spoken about it and has a solution to it. Um, his whole thing is about open BIM and uh, he's my main source of information about development in BIM. Um, okay, cool. So that's BIM voice. Uh, the next one is Arendelle. Probably doesn't need a shout out, but uh, Arendelle is probably, so this is just purely a kind of blender channel, um, but he does geometry nodes and Sverjok. So, which are kind of like the equivalent of Grasshopper. Um, and he's a wizard. Uh, if you want to know anything about geometry nodes or Sverjok in Blender, or even shader nodes, um, he's the right, this is the place to go. Um, he has beautiful uh, examples. Uh, this one, he did the Cambridge Mosque, which has a very similar structure to um, a structural uh, concept that Shigeru Ban uses all the time. And uh, he's got some architectural stuff and he's got some... Uh, very straightforward things, but it helps you think about how to translate these things into reality. Um, excellent channel. Uh, check it out if you want to do parametricism and that kind of thing. You can see it says here, proceduralism in Blender. Yeah. Okay, um, the next one is UH Studio Design Academy. 
So if you want to do design architecture stuff, this is the guy to go to. Um, he's the one who is with all the fancy concepts and like cutting edge, how is this useful in my design process and that kind of thing. Um, he uses Blender for a lot of things, but he also com combines it with Rhino and, uh, <clears throat> and Grasshopper and all, a whole bunch of other things. And he understands um, really the workflow issues of like a highly conceptual office and uh, how to translate that. So if you want any design tool tips or anything like that, this is the guy to go to. He also does interviews with people. Um, they're more design focused um, as opposed to BIM voice, which is more about BIM. Um, but there are uh, BIM elements in here. And um, you can see here, he's talking to Dr. Wasim Jabi, which we will get to in a second. Uh, but these are incredible. Uh, if you wanna know how to do design work in Blender, this is the channel to go to. Okay. Uh, the next one is Sigma Dimensions. Um, Sigma Dimensions is probably the most useful channel if you are coming from IFC Architect because his content is very similar, but it is way more in-depth, way more in-depth. So he has two very awesome um, playlists. The one is uh, an explanation of um, IFC, basically, um, and in Blender BIM. So you can see here he's got... He also has an install um, video and a whole bunch of other ones um, explaining concepts and that kind of thing. It's a level of depth that I do not get into. And I, I learn all the time from his videos and use them for my tutorials. If, if IFC Architect is like uh, output driven at, each at the end of each tutorial, there is something uh, you want to like a model or something that is an output that you get from the tutorial. Um, Sigma Dimensions is about information. So at the end of each um, tutorial, there's an understanding that you come away with. Um, so he's just launched a new, a new play, uh, a new course or playlist, whatever, um, called Blender BIM for Beginners, explaining the basics of like navigating and stuff. And there's information here that I will never touch on <laughs> because he just he understands it in depth, and he's a contributor to Blender BIM. So go support him. And also um, the content is amazing. Like it's the next level. Um, and it's specifically about Blender BIM. Um, and he's also got, uh, I don't see it here, but he's got a course on creating an app using IFC in Python. Here we go, yeah. Uh, BIM app in one hour, yeah. It's, his content is incredible and it's very detailed and in-depth. And he's gonna be doing a series of tutorials uh, very soon. And he releases them in batches like this. You can see they're all released at, in the one time. So you can go through all of them and they're very short. It's like four minutes. So it's little concepts. Um, very useful, try it out. Sigma Dimensions. Okay, the next one is Bruno Possel, who has this incredibly beautiful uh, logo. Bruno Possel is the developer of uh, the Homemaker add-on and the IFC Git add-on, um, which has been incorporated into Blender BIM. If you want to know, he's got a kind of tutorial here on his channel, and he also has a Homemaker demonstration tutorial situation happen here. Um, Bruno is amazing, and he's also a contributor to Blender BIM. Um, but the Homemaker add-on and the IFC Git add-on are insane and amazing, and you can check them out here. Um, I will be making a tutorial later on, but in the meantime, I'd say go to the source, support the man, and uh, yeah, check things out. He's got, like, Homemaker will blow your mind. Okay, so that's Bruno Apostle. The next one is Jörg von Hav. Um, so this is the main developer for FreeCAD. Obviously, FreeCAD is, is, has been around for a while, and uh, it is constantly evolving and changing. And you wanna do design work in open source, FreeCAD is a way to do it. And Yorick understands the design, he understands the process and everything. The other thing is that FreeCAD is being updated to incorporate native IFC, which means that soon any model that you create in FreeCAD and any model you create in Blender BIM are going to be interchangeable. So once that is at a point where I feel like it's stable or more feature complete, I will do a tutorial on that, but I'm sure Yorick will do as well. So he's always someone to uh, uh, to check out. Okay, so that's Yorick. And then the next one is Dr. Wasim Jabi. Um, Dr. Wasim Jabi is the main developer, or I think maybe the only developer of Topologic, which is a lot of things. But as far as I understand, it is a an approach to creating cell complexes, um, like rooms and spaces that kind of understand their relationship with each other. Um, Topologic is an incredible tool and uh, Bruno uses it um, as the basis, as the, uh, like the brains of Homemaker. 
and it, it is integrated into Blender and uh, you can use these things interchangeably and I'm, I will get into a tutorial in the future about it. Dr. Wasim is prolific and he constantly posts and updates. He's more active on Twitter. He posts things all the time. I'd recommend just subscribing because Topologic is going to be a huge tool in the AC industry in a few years. Okay, cool. Uh, and then the last one is C class. So this is Kun. Um, he is a, an active member of the OSR community. Um, and he's also the developer of the BlenderBim spreadsheet um, add-on, which is an addition to BlenderBim. And uh, at the moment he's trying to um, incorporate it into uh, BlenderBim, uh, but the spreadsheet add-on just helps with costing and quantity takeoff. I found it very useful. Kun does some very interesting things with materials and then also the, the spreadsheet add-on. And uh, yeah, and I think it's important because this is like a set of people um, which I think offer different kinds of information and complementary information. And um, I think if you if you want to learn and if you want to use these tools, um, you shouldn't restrict yourself just to Life Sea Arctic. And I'd recommend just trying out different people's um, content and seeing what's out there because uh, this is kind of, you're looking at an ecosystem, um, basically, of tools and people who work together. This is going to be where you get all your resources in the future, basically, if you are um, interested in open source um, design and workflows. Okay, cool. So that was um, just a little introduction uh, to different places, people, resources that you can find elsewhere, um, YouTube channels. Please have a look at these other channels. Uh, find what's useful for you and uh, use it. Um, everything here is interchangeable and the information is gold. Uh, so I hope that was helpful. Uh, thanks for watching.